uh, 37th Annual South Regional um, Conference. We'd like to thank Big Cypress Chapter for hosting this event. I'm Margaret England, one of the members of the Fishing Creek Chapter of the Florida Trail Association. We were a subchapter of the Alligator Amblers from 2010 to 2019, and we became an official Florida Trail Chapter in 2019, representing Rural, Hendry, and Glades County. We currently have 17 members. Chair is Bill Roy, Treasurer Margaret England, Council Representatives are Betty Loomis, Margaret England, and our Activity Coordinator is Deanna Filkins. I have some really great news to share. There's a new boardwalk at the Knobby Knee Trail at Fish Eating Creek Outpost. It's ADA accessible and there's handicapped parking. This is something you really don't want to miss. There is a day use fee of $2. The East O'Callaway Coochie Sluice State Forest has been purchased as part of the Florida Wildlife Corridor, and it will be the connecting link between the O'Callaway Coochie Slate Sluice State Forest and Deer Island Wildlife Management Area. There should be paths and uh, available in 2023. The LaBelle River Park on the north side of uh, the Clusahatchee is always a fun place to visit. It's free. It's open from uh, dawn to dusk. And you can walk along the beautiful Clusahatchee. Expect to see a few gopher tortoises. The LaBelle Nature Park is a really fun opportunity to walk in, under the oak trees all the way to the Clusahatchee, where there's a, a picnic shelter and, um, um, you know, over, an overlook and benches. As you, um, as you rest after your walk. The Henry LaBelle Civic Park is open year round. It has paved walking paths and uh, restrooms and a demonstration site playground and exercise equipment. So this is fun for toddlers through adults. The Spirit of Wild Wildlife Management Area has west of the Ocalloway Coochie Slough State Forest has been expanded. Uh, you can uh, walk or, or drive on a circuit of unpaved roads. And this is a really fun place to watch wildlife. The Ocalloway Coochie Slough State Forest and Wildlife Management Area has a day use fee and there's camping by reservation through the Florida State Forest Reserve America site. Dinner Island Wildlife management area has free camping by reservation. That's myfwc.com. Now this is the most incredible place to be at night for full moon hikes and stargazing. Stormwater treatment area 5-6 is free. For the next two years, we will be using the Bloomberg Road entrance. You can go uh, walk or bicycle any Friday, Saturday, or Monday. Um, and then Sundays, like March through August, uh, during non-hunt days, there's no fee. This is becoming more popular with the bicyclists and hikers. And um, this is also uh, adjacent to the Florida Trail. The Lake Okeechobee Scenic Trail Levee Park is a nice place to sit and relax after your hikes. It's on the Rim Canal in Clewiston. In Glades County, there's always hiking, camping, paddling. So three of the most popular sites are for hiking are the Knobby Knee Trail, the Paradise Lake Trail on the uh, east side of Highway 27, and the Fort Center Wildlife Management and Archaeological Site on Highway 78. We hope to see you soon as you hike, bicycle, or camp on your own in Hendry and Glades County. I'd like to express a special thanks to Dan Powers who allowed us the use of his Knobby Knee Trail photos for this presentation. Thank you and happy trails. <music>